Welcome to our online classes. Today, I am M.T. Fadrul Haq, English teacher, Vashantapur Secondary School. I think this class will be very effective for you and this is very important class. Change the voice. Today's topic is change the voice. Dear student, look at the board. Salam is playing. Here Salam is active. Salam is doing here. Salam does the activity that is playing. Playing is going on by Salam. That means Salam is subject and Salam is doing the activity play. But in second sentence, Vashantapur Secondary School is subject was established is bar. Who is doing this establishment? Who established this institution? Here is not highlighted. Here is not focused. Here is focused was established. And here is focused salam dua. So here we found that here we find that there are two types of sentences. Their meaning is not sense, but their formation is sensed. That is, Salam is doing the activity as a subject is active voice, and this subject is not doing the activity is so the, this is passive voice. Dear student, the man caught a bird. Here, the man in the past caught a bird. That means doer is active. Doer is doer is active. Active. In the fourth sentence, English is taught. Taught. Here, focused on taught. Here, doer is not found. Here, English is taught. English is in passive mood. English doesn't do any work. And it taught is taught is highlighted. Focus. So, it is passive. I was catching me. Or the, uh, there, here, I is doing the activity. So, it is active voice. Dear student, there are in English grammar two types of species. One is active voice, another is passive voice. Dear student, now look at the board. Coding plays active voice. You are washing the car, that means subject is active, subject is working. It is also active voice. She wrote a letter. Who wrote a letter? She. Here, subject is doer. Now, look at the board. Football. Is. Played. By. Correct. The car are the car is is being washed by. A letter was written by her. Huh. <laughs> 
second time I wrote down, I have wrote down the sentences are passive because all are the subject are not doing the activity. Doer is after preposition. It, it is doer after by another preposition by after this is doer. 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 Doer has said after preposition. And subject is not doing the activity. So, this is passive form of sentence. Another identification you can see bar from PP, bar PP, bar from PP, and B bar, B bar, B bar, and bar from. Bar from here to be bar, bar from past participle, bar pp, here bar from bar from pp. So, in passive voice, bar from must be b plus. B P P. This is most important to make passive form. And now look at the board. I had eaten rice. It is active voice because I are doing the activity. Here passive form is rice is object. How it is object? Subject had eaten eaten main bar after main bar we find object or if we don't understand what is object what is object we can ask main verb what what and who if we ask i had eaten rice who eaten rice i and i had eaten rice what I eaten? What I eaten? That means what rice? So rice is object. If we ask what and who, if the answer whom whom it is whom. If I ask whom what or whom, the answer must be object. Rice had been B bar and main bar past participle already exist in the perfect tense by subject a uh, subject was uh, objective from me subject objective from by preposition after preposition we say place subject uh, subject objective from I shall play cricket here object is cricket. Cricket will be there be verb be played when verb past participle form and then be position by then subject objective form. Korean plays cricket. It is active voice because Korean is doer here and object is football. Football is played. B bar then main bar past participle from then preposition by then 
subject. Here another example. He has bought two mangoes. This is present perfect tense. <coughs> present perfect tense. Two mangoes object. Two mangoes used as passive form as subject as subject of the passive form have been have been have been is be verb then main verb past participle form as usual by preposition then subject object form him I was eating rice this is present continuous tense Rice is object, rice was being. They are used being is be verb and another be verb uh, need, to, uh, need to make continuous tense. Here it is existing in passive voice. Then Mulvarbe, Mulvar, past participle from by subject object from me. Dear student, Look at the verb. All the passive form, all the passive verb, main verb, past participle form, past participle form, past participle form, past participle form. But verb are not the same. Verb are not the same. Here been is used. Here be is used. Here is used. Here been used. Here been used. Where we use being, where we use be, where we, where we use is, it is a, there is a rules according to tense. Now look at the list of the verb and where it is used. Generally and definitely M is R are used in present in your tense. Here is present in your tense. Current place forward. This is present in the tense and is it used before main verb past participle form. Was a past in the tense. What is past in the tense? Was, was, I have not written any past participle, uh, past in the tense. I wrote a letter. A letter, a letter was written by me. So, B is used before past participle from in past in any tense. Was a bean, bean in used or types of perfect tense, present perfect, past and future perfect tense. Here is past perfect tense, been is used. Uh, here is uh, been is been, been is used, here is past participle, he has present perfect tense, been is used, so been is used, uh, all past perfect tense. And being, being, being is used before past participle form and uh, to make passive form and it is generally used uh, present continuous, present continuous, past continuous and future continuous tense. <coughs> Here is I was eating rice. Here I rice was being, being before past participle in present past continuous tense. So uh, past continuous tense being is used to be future in your tense. First, uh, second uh, example, I shall play cricket. Cricket will be played. P is used in future indefinite tense. All moral tense, I must do it. It must be done. So, must is modal auxiliary. Then we use uh, be uh, to make passive form. Dear student, I have already understand that how to find out object and how to use be verb before past participle form and 
I have already said, uh, observed, noticed that all type by is used uh, in these uh, sentences as preposition but all time do not use all time we cannot use by as a past participle form we can use we can use uh, past uh, we can be we can use to add in at uh, with suppose no to pleased with satisfied with in this way preposition may vary today i want to close this session thank you my dear student again i teach you various rules of voice sets thanks thank you